Hi, my name is Sean, and I'll be walking you through how to get started using Duet modules in Muse. Before we begin, let's take a minute to review what a Duet module is and how it helps simplify how we control third party devices. Duet modules are small, standalone programs that are written in Java. They use a standardized set of commands, components, and capabilities. This means that if you use a Duet module to control a Sony display, but you replace that display with a Samsung one, you simply replace the Duet module and there are little to no other changes that have to be made. To get started, the first thing we'll do is download a Duet module to control a Samsung display. Go to developer.amx.com and in the Search Device Database field, enter Samsung as the manufacturer. In the Device Type field, select TV from the dropdown. At this point, you can either look for your device's model number in the Device Model dropdown list, or type the model number you wish to search for. I'm going to type PM32F here, and then click Search. Now that I've found the device I'm looking for, I can download the module by clicking the Download All Files icon in the Action column. The file you just downloaded is in .zip format and needs to be extracted before we can use it in a later step. Go to your download folder, right click on the file, and select Extract All. Now that we have our Duet module, we're ready to install it on the Muse controller. Open a new web browser session, enter the Muse controller's IP address, and log in. Click on System and then Extensions. In order to use a Duet module on your Muse controller, you must first make sure the Duet extension is started. If it is not started, simply click on the Mojo Duet extension and click Install. Next, click on Plugins and select Duet from the dropdown. Here we can see any Duet modules that are currently installed on the controller, delete modules that are no longer needed, or install new ones. Click the Upload button and navigate to the module you just downloaded. You may have to drill down through several folders until you get to the file with the .jar extension. Select the file and click Open. Once the file is transferred, you should now see your Duet module in the list. At this point, we can now create a new device using the Duet module we just loaded as a driver. Click on System and then select Devices from the dropdown. Just like we did in a previous video, I'm going to create a new device by clicking on the Create button. In the Instance ID field, I'm going to enter Main Display. In the Driver ID dropdown, notice that the Duet module we just loaded is now in this list, so let's select it. Now there will be some additional device configuration options that show up. These options will vary from module to module. Before configuring these options, let's not forget to enter a name and a description. In the Device Configuration section, enter the display's IP address in the IP address field in order to get the module to talk to the device. Keep in mind that some devices require extra configuration to get working and you should refer to the Word document in the Duet module zip file for instructions. At this point, the device is set up and ready for programming. Whether you decide to program with a high-code solution with Python, Groovy, or JavaScript, or a no-code, low-code solution using Node-RED, the process up until this point will always be where you'll start. Now I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to test this device using Node-RED. Let's open up Muse Automator. Make sure you have your Muse controller configured in your main flow. We covered this in a previous video. Since we're just testing to see if the module is working, we're not going to bother with adding a touch panel. Instead, we're going to use the Inject node to trigger module commands. Drag an Inject node into the flow. Double-click to configure it and change msg.payload to boolean in the dropdown. Double check that the value is set to true and then click Done. Next, we'll add a command node from the palette 
and tie the output of the inject node to the input of the command node. Double click the command node and select the display in the device drop down menu. You'll see a list of commands that are available for the display. We're going to test the power off command, so select lamp, zero, power. Set input to manual configuration so we can send a specific command to the device. Now set power to off. Click done and then deploy. Finally, you can test the power off command of the module by clicking on the little box to the left of the inject node. And that's it. You now know how to use a Duet module on a Muse controller, as long as you remember to start the Duet extension, load the Duet module as a plugin, and create a new device using the module as a driver. Thanks for watching this Muse tutorial.